As mentioned in the previous video, Division 2 changed the way weapon mods work. You now have to earn them instead of collect them and they come with positive and negative attributes. For example, the T2 micro red dot sight might increase your accuracy by 15% but it goes at the cost of the optimal range. Let's check out what mods we can roll on our weapons and what attributes they bring with them. Keep in mind that these numbers are submitted to change because we're in a pre-alpha build of course. The weapon mods come in four categories, each with their own slot. Optics, magazines, underbarrels and muzzles. Let's start with the first, the optics. We have the improved iron sight, low reflex sight, T2 micro red dot sight, 552 hollow sight, ACOG scope with the 4x zoom, the VX1 scope with the 12x zoom, MK5 scope with the 15x zoom and the M5XI 15x scope. The improved iron sight increases your reloading speed by 25%, but it decreases your critical hit chance by 20%. Not really worth it in my opinion. The low reflex sight comes with 30% extra stability, but you trade it off for a 30% decrease in your optimal range. The T2 micro red dot sight increases your accuracy by 15%, but decreases the optimal range by 30%. Moving on to the 552 hollow sight, the accuracy gets increased by 10%, but your optimal range decreases by 20%. Poor optimal range, no one loves it. That was until the ACOG showed up. It increases the optimal range by 30%, but it trades it off for a 15% decrease in critical hit damage, which is kind of a big hit. The VX1 scope, an all-time favorite, increases once again the headshot damage, but now by a whopping 30%, which is quite a lot, while decreasing the reload speed by only 10%. Sounds like a fan favorite once again. The MK5 scope is better off than last time with a 20% increase in optimal range, 20% headshot damage increase, and a reduction of 5% in reload speed. The final optic mod, the M5XI 15x scope, has unknown attributes and it might only roll on the Tech 50C 50 caliber rifle. Moving on to the magazines. Three magazine mods have been confirmed. The heavy firing spring, the high velocity magazine and the extended magazine. The heavy firing spring increases the rate of fire by 15% at the cost of the stability with a 15% decrease. The high velocity magazine increases the critical hit chance by 20% while reducing the weapon damage by 8%. Doesn't really sound like a great deal. Finally, the extended magazine, the big boy out of the magazines, adds 20 extra rounds while decreasing the accuracy by 10% and the reload speed by 15%. It sounds like the best magazine mod still. Next on our list are the mods that fit on the underbarrel rail. We have the vertical grip, Coyote 10, angled grip, Handstop foliage green, laser pointer, small laser pointer, and the short grip red. The vertical grip increases the accuracy by 10%, but decreases stability by 8%. So that's kind of a trade off if you have a weapon with a lot of stability and low accuracy, you could put this one on. The angled grip ups your stability by 10%, but decreases the accuracy by 8%, so it's the other way around. The hand stop increases reload speed by 10% at the cost of stability with a 10% increase. Might be worth it for submachine guns or shotguns in close range. Following this is the laser pointer. It increases the critical hit chance by 15% and it lowers the stability by 10%. Not a bad trade-off, especially for submachine gun or crit builds. A similar one, the small laser pointer increases critical hit chance by a bit less, only 10%, but it decreases the accuracy by 5%. The final underbarrel mod, the short grip red, increases critical hit damage by 15% at the cost of 10% reload speed. It can also be combined well with a submachine gun or crit build once again. Moving on to our final mod slot, the muzzle, we have 6 confirmed mods. The compensator, flash hider, large suppressor FDE, omega rifle suppressor, osprey 45 suppressor and small suppressor for the small willies out there. The compensator increases stability by 20% at the cost of accuracy with a 10% decrease. The flash hider, a new winner in my book, adds 20% critical hit damage while reducing stability by 10%, which is not a bad trade-off I would say. 
a large suppressor increases the accuracy by 20% while reducing weapon damage by 5%. Not worth, in my opinion. The Omega Rifle Suppressor has some different attributes than in the previous game, with a 25% increase in stability and a decrease in optimal range by 20%. Seems like the Omega Rifle Suppressor isn't a fan favorite anymore. The Osprey 45 suppressor is decent with a critical hit chance increase of 20% at the cost of 10% rate of fire. And the final mod of this video, the small suppressor increases accuracy by 20% while reducing the weapon damage by 5%. Not worth it again. Looking back at the confirmed weapon mods, it looks like most of the old mods are coming back, maybe some new ones. I would have liked to see some new ones, but I guess we had a lot already, and you know, maybe they still will add them, who knows. The old favorite mods are still a thing, like the VX1 scope, extended magazine, but some others have changed, like the small grip, now called the short grip, and the Omega Rifle Suppressor. Let me know in the comments down below what your favorite optic, magazine, underbarrel and muzzle mod is, and why. For now, thanks for watching. Hopefully until next time and peace out.